Okay, Logan and Stetson are in the uh, Psych 3. Oh my gosh, you, I'm so excited to see uh, Stetson. He hasn't been here in like so long. I'm so excited. There he is. Oh my gosh, Stetson. How are you, dude? That's so... Come on, come on, you gotta bring it in. Did you actually pick up the good ones? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, we were... We were Bro, you I was literally just showing the shoes. You actually picked up the good ones. I thought you were gonna pick up the... Uh, Converse. <sighs> you okay, this is great. Those are sexy. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you in so long. Hold on. Those shoes are beautiful. Did you get taller? Yeah, maybe. Yeah? Right. Got the new shoes last night. Donut. Delicious. Okay, let's go to Target. I miss riding with Stetson Logan so much. We don't do that much often anymore because Logan or Stetson's gone. And it feels so good, even though I'm really freezing my balls off right now. You guys are wearing more layers than me, and I, the only thing I'm complaining about is my hands. My hands are freezing, and my nose is kind of cold. Yeah, oh, it doesn't matter. I would love to move it though. Are you having fun there? Oh, oh, I guess it. Not really though. Oh, it's not as good as yours, but I love mine. Wait a second, seven dollars? Oh, it's on sale. Cause this is the coffee I drink every day. That song. Oh, stuff's good. Okay. Folgers. This is working in uh, Texas. Ooh, we go like this and go pop. Uh oh, okay. What do you do with the uh, there's two types. Oh, the, the anorexic girl one. And the anorexic one. Yeah. The anorexic one. Yeah, it's, you're just using your back muscles and go. You just <laughs> <on my head. laughs> Do you remember these things? These are great. These like things where you have the, like, it goes like this no, and then these you These are great. Oh my Gosh, these, these are, are great. <laughs> wait, wait. They had the shoe. Right there. No, no, no. I killed it. My other shoes are at the old house. Uh oh, your grandma's. Hold on. Hold on, kids. It's so cold. My ears are cold. My asthma is terrible. My hands are cold and we're gonna play music. And, oh, by the way, this room used to be clean, but not the case anymore. I love this stuff so much. I get it all the time. Um, San Pellegrino, mineral, natural sparkling mineral water. I don't know, I like it. Mm. Uh. Now, a little while ago, something got stolen from me and it was something that was mine that I really liked. The reason it got stolen was kind of my fault. I didn't lock my locker for one and two, it was sticking out of my locker. Somebody stole my green fuzzy blanket. Now, I know what you're thinking, a green fuzzy blanket, who cares? I care. The thing that actually made me so angry was the fact that it got stolen, and then the guy that stole my blanket wore it as a costume on costume day at school. He cut a hole in the middle of the blanket to fit his head in and wore it as like a thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> the only reason I know that that was my blanket was, for one, there was witnesses. In my first hour, people said, oh yeah, I saw him taking it out of your locker, which they didn't even stop him like they should have totally because they knew it was my blanket. And they saw him like sliding across the hall with it. And like, I even asked him like, were you sliding across the hall with it? Like, ugh. He said he got the blanket from Target. Guess what? Those blankets are only sold at Walmart. Clear evidence here says this is my blanket. I'm not that angry anymore, but the fact that like I have clear evidence that that is my blanket and that he stole it just made me mad that he wasn't honest with me and said, yo, I'm sorry. Don't steal. It might not seem that bad to you until something is actually stolen from you, especially something that you really like. 
Oh, also, you know that galaxy hat that I wear? That's like one of my favorite hats. I know it doesn't match with everything, but I've had that hat for four years, almost going on five, and somebody broke it. It was on my backpack, and somebody was trying to yank it off. They couldn't get it off, so they just ripped it off and broke the buckle. Like, okay, I've done this so many times. I've broken things in an accident, and I, did, and I understand that this happens all the time. I guess when you, you don't think about it at first, you just like, you don't, you think, don't think of the outcome. But then when it actually happens, you're like, oh man, I can't believe I did, I'm so sorry. Or you just really don't care. But like, the fact that that was like my favorite hat, I wear it all the time, like every day, I've had it for almost five years. And it just makes me really angry that now I can't wear that hat. It is completely like, the buckle is broken, it does not snap in the front, so it doesn't work anymore. And that was like, I went, like, I've been looking for a hat like that for a long time, like, looks like that one, and I cannot find one. So that was, like, like, the only one of those hats, and it's broken. So, be careful with other people's things. Don't yank. I've broken a lot of things by forcing things, like my dad's truck, and it's just... <sighs> if it's not yours, ask or do something before you just try to do something with it. Um. Oh!